we recently crowned lookup functions as the number one Excel technique for ease of use and power. As you might guess, we only scratched the surface of how useful they can be, so now we're going to bring you a demonstration of how to use lookups alongside their sister function, match, to perform a two-way lookup. A two-way lookup is required when the piece of information you need to look up requires two other pieces of information to uniquely identify it. Let's look at an example. I'm creating a list in Excel of orders on a line of a piece of clothing. There are several different styles available for the item and several different sizes. The cost to produce the item depends on both. I've arranged these costs in a small array here and want to be able to make these costs feed into my line costs in the orders list by getting the right amount for the style and size I specify. I can't just look up the style name as I wouldn't know which column to return the price from. I need to simultaneously look up the column number that contains the correct size and then feed that number into a VLOOKUP to get my cost. This is where the MATCH function comes in. Match works with a similar logic to lookup in that it looks up whatever you give it as the first argument in a column or row you specify as the second argument. But it doesn't return the value it finds there, it just returns the column or row number relative to that area. So if the thing you looked up is in the third row of the area you're looking in, it returns the number 3. We can use this here to look up the column number that contains the size we want, then let our VLOOKUP read this number. First, we'll give names to the two ranges of data we'll need. First is the regular VLOOKUP data, remembering that the thing we need to look up, the style name, should be the first column of our range. The second is the row with size information. This second range must have exactly the same width as the first one and be exactly aligned above it. Otherwise, the third column of our second range won't also be the third column in our main range, for example. Also note that the match function only supports one-dimensional ranges, i.e. parts of a single row or a single column. I give both of these ranges names by entering my choice of name in the box at the top left. Now it will be neatest if we just write the match formula straight into the column argument of the VLOOKUP. So I'll start the VLOOKUP in my line cost column. I'm looking up the style in my main data range, so that deals with the first two arguments. Now for the column number, I start a match function, looking up the size in the second range I specified. I enter zero of the last argument, which makes it return only exact matches, which logically I should be able to find here. The other two options are for use with special numerical lookups that we might just give you a demonstration on in the future. Finally, I enter false as the final argument to the VLOOKUP function because I only want to return exact matches on my style name. Now I just multiply the price it will be returning by the quantity of orders, and I'm done. I can copy my formula down and immediately see the line cost of all my orders. So, in principle, that's all there is to it. Now we'll look at a more substantial example. I have two tables with budgeted and actual costs associated with a variety of projects for each month in a year. I'm going to use the two-way lookup technique to create a report to compare budgets and expenses in a dynamic and automatic way. First, I need to name two ranges with the actual data in it. Then I name another range which is just the row with the month titles. Note I only need to do this once as the month rows on each table are horizontally aligned, so the column number you'll look up using match will be the same in either one. Now for each column in my report, I need to know what month it should get data from. That means I need to have the title of the month above my budget and actual columns, which doesn't look all that good, so instead I have a regular title merged across all three of the columns for a month, then use another row below it with the individual month titles that I can hide later on. So now I can start to set up my two-way lookup formula just as I did before. I'm looking up the name of the project in the budget data range. Note that in my reference to the project names, I put a dollar sign in front of the column, making it an absolute reference. This means that when I copy my formula across to the rest of my report, it will always look at this first column to get the projects. Next, I match the month title in the row I'll hide to the month row I named. Note that this time I put a dollar sign in front of the row number to make this an absolute reference to this row. This means all rows of my report when I copy my formula down will look at this same row to get the month name. I leave the column letter as a relative reference as I want that to change as I copy my formula into the budget columns of other months. Again, both the match and lookup functions want to be set to use exact matches. I can do the same thing with the actual column as the budget one, just naming the expenses table as the source of the data for the VLOOKUP. 
In both cases, you might want to put if error functions around them to shield against the hash NA errors caused by missing information, as demonstrated in our top 5 Excel techniques video on VLOOKUP. But I'll go without for now, as in my case I already have all the data, so I don't expect these errors to appear. Variance is just the budget minus the actual, so that's easy. Now I have the formula set up for one month, I can just copy them across the whole year. The reference to the month title above the column will automatically change since it was a relative reference, so the formula will correct themselves and use the right months, and we're done. This setup is nice and robust against changes to the arrangement. For example, I can reorder my projects and the numbers will adjust to remain accurate. I could even change the order of the months in my data tables and still everything will be looked up correctly. So, this two-way lookup technique using the match function takes the usefulness of lookup a little further. Of course, there are loads more tricks and techniques to make lookup achieve all sorts of neat results, so to learn about them and other Excel access and VBA tips, subscribe to our channel or visit our website at software-matters.co.uk. Also, you can click the link on the video or in the video description to download the file we've been using for this video so that you can see how the formulas work in detail for yourself and have something to get going on for your own projects. Thanks for watching.